What's up, everybody? Mike Dolce. Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we're going to talk about your ideal program to build your summer body, baby. So I'm going to break down three things you need to be doing to build your best program, the program to then create your summer body. And your summer body will be amazing. And it's so much easier than it seems or than it sounds. Make sense? Let's go. The first thing we need to think about is cardio. How much cardio is right for you? How much cardio will you be doing? What type of cardio should it be? What pace and how long should it take? These are the questions that confuse everybody, but I'm going to make it very simple for you. Here's what we need. We need three low intensity. We need two moderate intensity, and we need one high intensity cardiovascular training session. What does that mean? Three low intensity is walking Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Two moderate intensity is jogging Tuesday and Thursday, and one high intensity is doing some sprints on Saturday. That's easy. That's simple, right? That's easy. You walk every other day. You go for a little jog for the same amount of time. So cardio, we're going to go for a 30-minute walk, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a 30-minute light jog on Tuesday and Thursday. It could be a light pre-core. It could be a light peloton. It could be a light airdyne. It could be a light row. That's fine. Cardiovascular output, whatever modality or machine you want to use. I say go outside, though walk on your little legs and jog on your little feet, right? Go outside if you can. There's amazing psychological, emotional, but also health benefits to outdoor physical activity. But 30 minutes walking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 30 minutes jogging Tuesday, Thursday, and 30 minutes of high intensity intervals. One minute jog, two minute rest. One minute jog, two minute rest. One minute air dine, one minute rest. 30 minutes jump, jump ropes, 30 seconds rest, right? So that's your interval work. This is your summer body. This is every morning would be ideal. Most mornings would be best earlier in the day relative to later in the day for this cardio. The next thing is your exercise with resistance. You want to hit and prioritize that type of varied cardiovascular activity in the mornings, but we also want to tone, tone and scale, sculpt and shape and round, build curves on that body, build some, some texture, some granite, give us something to look at, right? Minimum of three days per week, ideally four to five, four days with traditional resistance, one day with unconventional resistance. What does this mean? You could train Monday, Wednesday, Saturday with kettlebells. You can do cardio kickboxing. You can do some bodybuilding, um, you know, pump and fluff type stuff. You can also on your one varied day do farmer's walks with a wheelbarrow if you can go out back. Go and go to the beach and, and walk and jog in the sand. Go up and down the sand dunes. Go for a hike, right? Go play soccer with people of equal skill set to you. One day a week, I want you to do something slightly different. So it's four days of targeted toning, sculpting, shaping, shaping resistance. And I'll touch on that a little bit more after point number three. So I'll, all right, here's the breakdown of the program. And then do something of a physical athletic nature. For real though, like don't say, oh, I went jet skiing and you sat on the boat and took one two minute ride. Nah, that's not it. So express your athleticism, all right? This is to build your summer body. So we got the cardio in the morning. We know what we need to do. Quick recap, 30 minutes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday of walking, 30 minutes of jogging Tuesday, Thursday, and 30 minutes of intervals on Saturday or Sunday with one day to kind of chill and relax. Resistance training, we're looking at three to four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday of resistance, upper body, lower body, overhead presses, dumbbell curls, bent over rows, deadlifts, high box step ups, all the fun stuff. I'll finish that up here in a minute for you with one athletic activity, right? For the training and then food. Food is where most people go overboard. And in order to get that summer body, I want you to take a few weeks right now. This is important, guys. Take a few weeks right now and don't cheat. 
don't cheat for the next four weeks. Because if you can get compliant now, eat great food. I'm going to tell you great food to eat. You're not going to be hungry. You're going to be like, damn, that's a lot of food. I feel great. This is awesome. Why haven't I done this before? And some of you haven't, you know what I'm talking about. But you want to make sure you're not cheating. You're not building the habit of blowing the diet because now you're not going to get good progress. You're not going to get ahead of schedule where you will in, in June and July, you'll be able to go out and, and have oysters and cocktails on the, the beach with your friend. You can go to the nice little party and kind of not really mind what you eat. If you invest the time, the energy, the discipline right now, to break free from the, the, the gravitational pull of, of fat you, right? I say that respectfully, of lazy you, of unhealthy you, of not yet summer body you, not yet summer shredded you. So not yet summer shredded you is trying to pull summer shredded you to the same habits. Let's take four weeks and boom, break that, break that pull. So then you become much faster adapted into your summer skin, your summer body. It, it really does work like that. It's very easy once you cut the crap out. Now, what do you eat specifically? Healthful whole foods, wide varieties. We have our three weeks to shredded program, which you can click the link below. Promo code transform. You'll save 25% if you're interested in something personalized and detailed and specific, and it takes all the guesswork out of it. Click the link below. To those who want to begin on your own, great, I love it, definitely do this simply. Healthful whole foods and wide variety spread evenly throughout your day. I want you eating salmon and chicken and eggs and, and lean beef and, and tofu and hemp and chia and, and quinoa and butternut squash and sweet potatoes and wild rice and, and Brussels sprouts and kale and asparagus and red peppers and, and mushrooms and green onions and the list goes on and on and sunflower seeds and dates and figs and raspberries and blueberries, like cantaloupe. Oh man, like all that should be in your schedule. That everything I just said, I've eaten today. I've already eaten that stuff today in my meals and my breakfast bowls and my salads and my scrambles and my skillets throughout the day. There's all that great variety, all that great variety. Now think about how delicious that is. Does anything there sound like it's going to make you fat? No. Now we're eating sensibly relative to our appetite and our activity. I can't overeat that. That's a lot of food. I can't really overeat it. A lot of great high net nutrient, raw bulk matter in that that keeps me satiated and energized and feeling light. So I had a nice tight tummy. I don't have that big uh, bloated belly. Never, ever, ever do I feel like that. I always feel energized. Look, I'm pretty damn energized, right? I always feel like this, but I probably eat more calories than you. I probably do, but I'm probably leaner than you, holding more muscle than you, and I probably have the energy to exercise maybe more than you and deal with all of life's hassles and kids and families and you know township and all the stuff. Man, all day long, no problem. So to get that summer body, if you simply do this, you dedicate 30 minutes in the morning to cardiovascular activity while staying hydrated. I mean, come on four, six, eight liters of water per day for the average healthy adult would be the baseline. As long as you're not poisoning yourself with synthetic toxic chemicals, colored drinks and beverages, right? Let's push that away for four weeks. Exercise 30 minutes every morning, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, walk, Tuesday, Thursday, light jog relative to your ability or cycle or pre-core, whatever activity. I say walking because we're designed to walk as human, most of us, by the way. Resistance training, three to four days a week doing something you enjoy but is challenging and you work to get better at every time. You stick to a list. You follow what you're doing. Multi-joint compound movements, full body movements, ideal. Also lots of athletic movements, push-ups and dips and chin-ups if you can, um, leg lifts and, and, and Russian twists on the floor. Like There's so many amazing things to do. Be dedicated. Three to four days a week. 30 to 45 minutes in the evening with some form of resistance training. It's easy. I have a ton of videos. Just check the channel. I'm not leaving you hanging. Check the channel. I have a ton of videos. I'll do another video maybe later today or, or tomorrow on, on more specific exercises for you. And then the nutrition. Again, you can click the link below for the three weeks to shredded program, the living lean plan, all personalized, all online, all digital, all awesome. Or just simply ease into the principles of eating four meals per day, probably. Healthful whole foods, fresh, organic, 
close to the point of, of consumption, or like raised close to the point of consumption, or like high net nutrient value, delicious, healthy, succulent, like suits your palate, suits your budget, not an exclusionary restrictive fed dietary program in which you're just cutting calories. You feel like crap. You're cutting food groups. You feel like crap. You're completely nutrient deficient. You feel like crap. You're breaking down, losing muscle tissue, gaining body fat. Oh no, you feel like crap. That's what most people do. So that's not your, your super summer shredded body. This program will get you your super summer shredded body. If you have any questions, leave questions below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here. And until next time, Boom.